So the very first step is collecting the domain. That's certainly the easiest one. The domain is just the domain that you're using for sending email. So in the case of our demo here, we're going to be using the domain moderndigitaloffice.com. The next step is collecting the domain GUID. The simplest way to go find the domain GUID would be to um, either open up a DOS box and do an MX lookup or just use uh, any tool that we can use online, such as uh, this nice uh, toolbox that maybe we're going to blur out what it's actually doing or who it's from. But uh, anyway, so I'm using an online tool to go do an MX lookup of the domain here. Uh, and we can see that the MX record for this domain is moderndigitaloffice-com.mail.protection.outlook.com. That first section of the MX record uh, before the .mail.protection.outlook.com, that is our domain GUID. So in a notepad, I've gone and added, uh, I'm sorry, the domain GUID as moderndigitaloffice.com. Uh, another way to find the domain GUID would be to log into the admin portal of Office 365 and go to Settings, Domains, and selecting the domain that you're looking for, in this case moderndigitaloffice.com, and in the MX record, so this is basically the MX record that Microsoft is recommending that you publish, uh, we can see that that value is also here in moderndigitaloffice-com. Which brings us to the simple thing. Um, the domain GUID almost always is uh, the same as your domain with the period replaced with a dash. So in this case, uh, for the domain moderndigitaloffice.com, my domain GUID is moderndigitaloffice-com. We still recommend doing this by going and finding this data through the uh, domain, uh, doing an MX lookup for the domain or by going in and looking at the domain settings in Office 365 because this isn't true 100% of the time, but almost always uh, it is just the domain with a period replaced with a dash. The next step would be collecting the initial domain uh, in your Office 365 tenant. The initial domain is the domain that was created in the tenant when the account was first signed up. Um, it is not normally your actual domain, but it may be similar. Um, essentially, we go to that same location that we were just at looking at our, uh, our actual domain. Uh, so again, under settings, domains, and your domain. So let me go there real quick. So we would find that in the admin center, again, under, uh, under settings, domains, and then we can see that we have a domain that is listed here with a dot on microsoft.com domain. That is our initial domain. So then we would just copy that and we're going to paste that also out here in our little document where we're collecting all of our useful information that we're going to copy and paste. 